If you have AS and are struggling with why you're stiff in the morning, haven't had it explained to you, well follow along with my video as we explain why you're stiff and what we can do about it. Early morning stiffness is one of our key diagnostic indicators to firstly diagnose you with AXPAR, but also to kind of see how you're doing in management and see if maybe a drug regime has changed how you are responding. Now what is it? Well, it's kind of hard to define and a lot of people will, will struggle to say exactly a moment in time where it finishes, but essentially it's this. You get up, the sun shines, you crawl out of bed sometimes, and it's how long that initial stiffness and pain, particularly in your lower spine or the areas that are affected, how quickly that actually eases off. Now that may not ease off fully, but it's a very specific moment that you will definitely know from having this condition for a while. So let's say you get out of bed, you go and make your coffee, and oh, actually I'm, I'm walking a bit better, or oh yeah, I feel a bit less pain in my left buttock area. That's something that I would like, or I, I definitely get patients to keep an eye on. It's something that we can relay back to rheumatologists, to me as a physio, and just to keep a kind of eye on your body to see how your inflammatory levels are. So how do I explain this? Well, essentially, everybody has an immune response. Now, the normal population, their volume dial of immunity is, let's just say, level 10 for ease of language. Unfortunately, with AXPA, as we know, it's an autoimmune condition, so that means that your dial of inflammation is cranked up. For ease of language, just let's just say 12 or 13. That's that cranking of the dial. Now, what are the effects of this? Well, essentially, that dial, that immune response, enables us to fight bugs all day. That's its purpose. Now for me with level 10, I fight bugs all day or I don't fight bugs all day. I go to bed, I wake up, and I don't feel any extra swelling or any extra stiffness. Now this interestingly is all linked to our circadian rhythm. So essentially, when we go to bed, we don't need that highly energy using system of our immune response to work because back in the day we would have been in a cave I generally don't fight as many bugs overnight as we would in the day. So it's an energy saver. I like it to term it as we go on standby with our immune response. So the sun comes down, we go to bed, our immune response gets powered down onto standby. Now as the sun comes back up, our immune reaction kind of kicks back in. Now for me, I wake up, my immune response is on level 10, I don't have any extra swelling. For you guys, that overshoots. So essentially, as the sun comes up and as you're not moving, because you're sleeping soundly, hopefully, then we get that intra-articular or the joint swelling. And you feel that as you start to get going in the morning. So that is that stupid volume analogy that means that you, as you wake up, you're cranked up to level 13. Now, why do I get you to maybe make a note of this. I don't want you to be too crazy and start every single day jotting down how long it takes you to get going in the morning. That's a bit nuts. That's like losing weight. We don't want to look every single day because you lose your mind. But I often encourage patients to, particularly around a change of something in their life. So let's just say they change their medication or let's just say you have a big life event or just simply you start making really good changes to your lifestyle or diet or whatever. I like to get you to maybe once a week or once a fortnight, just make a little log. That can be on your phone, on your calendar or whatever. It's nice for you to have some data to say to the rheumatologist or to come to a physio like myself and say, actually, I've changed medication and my morning stiffness has gone up or down. Or let's say it's taken me an hour or so to get going in the morning. That is definitely a sign that you're potentially in a flare up. And we'll discuss in detail what a flare-up is in another video, but essentially it's just an increase in your volume level. So let's say you have changed medication and maybe it's not going your way, you, that volume level will crank up to level 15, let's say, meaning that as you get up in the morning, you may have double or maybe, you know, 45 minutes to an hour of your early morning stiffness. That's when I want you to say, hey, Jethro, I am feeling this, the symptoms are this, this, and this, can we do something about it? And normally that's a really nice indicator for me to just quickly write a letter to the doctor, to your rheumatologist, and say, hey, blah, blah, patient X is struggling with this new change, can we have a quick medical review? 
forgetting a change, we can have these flare-ups kind of out of the blue. So, I can also still write a letter to say, patient X is struggling with this potential flare-up. They are stiff for an hour in the morning. They're feeling some different kind of odd uh, sensations and some clinical changes. Can we see them? And oftentimes that's a quick input so the doctor can deal with you quickly. So maybe there's a quick small amount of medication we can take, maybe a titration to your meds to get you out of that flare. Now that's managing you beautifully. That's what we want you guys really to understand is that there is a quick kind of response that you can do, but also you need to take the onus of maybe just reflecting on how you're doing in the moment, come to a professional, go to your rheumatologist, come to a physio, and then we can discuss, right, what's our course of action? The worst thing to do is to kind of wait between long appointments from your rheumatologist to go, oh yeah, I've actually been flaring up for a couple of months, but I didn't want to do anything about it. There's no need to sit in that flare, which is cool. It's empowering. You can actually change things for yourself. And then finally, with the early morning stiffness, yeah, you've guessed it, we got to move. So I've got routines that we're building that hopefully will be relatively quick and easy to perform our spinal movements, our hip movements, just to get you going in the morning. Maybe reducing that amount of time that you feel stiff in the morning. So thanks for listening to the video. Uh, I hope that really helps give you a bit of context as to why we as therapists and clinicians care about early morning stiffness and why it's a great indicator for you to take power of this condition. Keep following along with the channel as I'm about to release quite a few videos in this series of quick bite-sized chunks of giving you some education to empower you to take control of Axbar. Thank you.